In this video, we'll give you a very popular excerpt from Tim Ferriss's bestseller, The 4-Hour Body, about the concept of minimum effective dose. But first, hit that subscribe button to join the Good Life community. The minimum effective dose, or MED, is defined simply the smallest dose that will produce a desired outcome. It's also referred to as the minimum effective load, as he was concerned exclusively with weight-bearing exercise, but we'll look at precise dosing of both exercise and anything you ingest. Anything beyond the MED is wasteful. To boil water, the MED is 212 degrees Fahrenheit at standard air pressure. Boiled is boiled. Higher temperatures will not make it more boiled. Higher temperatures just consume more resources that could be used for something else more productive. If you need 15 minutes in the sun to trigger melanin response, 15 minutes is your MED for tanning. More than 15 minutes is redundant and will just result in burning and a forced break from the beach. During this forced break from the beach, let's assume once a week, someone else who heated his natural 15 minute MED will be able to fit in four more tanning sessions. He is four shades darker, whereas you have returned to your pale pre-beach self. Sad little manatee. In biological systems, exceeding your MED can freeze progress for weeks or even months. In the context of body redesign, there are two fundamental MEDs to keep in mind. To remove stored fat, do the least necessary to trigger a fat loss cascade of specific hormones. To add muscle in small or large quantities, do the least necessary to trigger local or specific muscles and systemic growth mechanisms. Knocking over the dominoes that trigger both of these events takes surprisingly little. So don't complicate them. For a given muscle group like the shoulders, activating the local growth mechanism might require just 80 seconds of tension using 50 pounds once every seven days, for example. That stimulus, just like the 212 degrees Fahrenheit for boiling water, is enough to trigger certain prostaglandins, transcription factors, and all manner of complicated biological reactions. What are transcription factors, you ask? It doesn't matter. You don't need to know. In fact, you don't need to understand any of the biology, just as you don't need to understand radiation to use a microwave oven. Just press a few buttons in the right order and you're done. In our context, 80 seconds as a target is all you need to understand. That is the button. If instead of 80 seconds you mimic a glossy magazine routine, say an arbitrary five sets of 10 reps, it's the muscular equivalent of sitting in the sun for an hour with only a 15 minute MED. Not only is this wasteful, but it's also a predictable path for preventing and reversing gains. The organs and glands that help repair damaged tissue have more limitations than your enthusiasm. The kidneys, as one example, can clear the blood of a finite maximum waste concentration each day, which is approximately 450 mmol, or millimoles, per liter. If you do a marathon three-hour workout and make your bloodstream look like an LA traffic jam, you stand the real chance of hitting a biochemical bottleneck. More is not better. Indeed, your greatest challenge will be resisting the temptation to do more. The MED not only delivers the most dramatic results, but it does so in the least time possible. These words should echo in your head. It's impossible to evaluate or even understand anything that you cannot measure. The next step in this process is figuring out for yourself what is the minimum exercise dose to create the desired result. Consult with a professional fitness coach to figure out what's right for you and your body type. Once you have it, it can open up a whole new world of doing the minimum, but getting the maximum effect. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video and check out these videos on the screen for more.